music, fashion, and dark. Um, it's been 20 years. Uh, yeah, I've just... <laughs> 20 years ago, I was coming up to an interesting, for me anyway, uh, kind of dovetail of time because I'd been working for the previous seven years or about thereabouts with Derek Jarman, which was how I started to work. I started to work in cinema and he was getting ill around about that time. He started to get ill in 89. So I was sort of beginning to come out of what I call Jarmania. Jarmania was sort of beginning to wind down. Derek was becoming less productive because he wasn't well. And so I was beginning to sort of look up out of the garden and, uh, and wonder what was going to happen to me when he stopped working altogether. So that was it, the interesting point for me, yeah. I think I was on the verge of going back to being a gambler in uh, 20 years ago. Oh, when I was 20, I was um, in college and I was... Uh, I was much more um, closed off and much more conservative. I hadn't really blossomed. So I was uh, trying to fit in and to hide my, um, my, I guess, truth because I felt it was dangerous to expose it because uh, the world didn't seem ready for it. And I wasn't ready to um, fight to be myself at that point, which I think was wise, actually, because um, you know, you can only um, be as strong as you can be, and at that time I didn't have the skills or the support network to really be myself. I never intended to be a performer, and so when I started working with him, I kind of found this um, way of living, really, and way of making work with a group, which I, I then realized, when it came to an end, was pretty sp spectacularly unique, and was hard to to find again, and I've never really found it since. So it was, um, but it wasn't something I was looking for. It wasn't, I wasn't looking for satisfaction, if you like. I was, I was um, looking for company and found it in that, in that world, um, and found a way of avoiding becoming a professional in any capacity. When I graduated from college, I started working as an actor because I had trained to be a commercial professional actor and I realized I just couldn't do that. So uh, I was uh, living in Washington DC at the time and uh, a girlfriend called me and said, you have got to move to San Francisco. And so I said, all right. And uh, I got myself fired from my job and I had, uh, so I could collect unemployment and I had a watch and it's the last watch I ever owned and I was driving up um, the uh, whatever road outside of Washington DC and I um, was going over a bridge and I threw my watch in the Potomac River and swore to myself I would never be a slave to the clock again and I never have. <laughs>